Hello friends, welcome. This is going to be the last video for this project and uh, here I want to delete the chat and not all the chats, I want to delete only the chat we are in. So for example, we are in the chat with ID number two, which is uh, this one. And I want to delete only this one and maybe let's give a different uh, BG to this we are in. The same I think we have also on the chat GPT open eye. We can delete only the chat we are in. The same I'm going to do here and also not directly delete the chat, but just uh, when we click to that uh, SVG, because I'm with other SVG here, when we click show two more SVGs, one is to confirm the delete and one is to cancel the delete. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Okay, so let's get started. And let's open the VS Code and the first thing, also I'm going to add here a title because I don't like like this. So let's open the chat index. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to import up here the head from so import head from inertia from inertia js view 3 and down there i'm going to add that head. so let's say head and the title is going to be uh where the create a constant title let's just close that now the constant here is going to be, so let's say constant title, which is going to be equal with a computed and make sure you import the computed. So if I scroll up, yeah, we need to import the computed also from view. And let's use the computed here, computed. And I'm going to say, if we have inside the probes dot chat and if we have that I want to say I want in the context of that chat the first in the array I want the content and if that isn't I'm going just to say a new chat like this and if I save we are in the what is Vue.js, if I click here, what is Laravel, if I click new chat, is new chat. Very good. Now also let's add a different color if we are here. So let's see in this LI, I'm going to bind the class. And here let's add an array, which is use the array method and pass here. the condition before but what I want I want only to change the BG so let's remove the BG slate from there and now I'm going to say right here if the message dot ID is triple equal with the chat dot ID if that is true I'm going to say give it a bg slate 700 or otherwise is going to be the bg slate 900 and let's save that and let's come here yeah we are to this one if i click here 
we change the BG. Good. Now let's add an SVG here to show the confirmation. Delete the delete the message to delete the chat. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new constant. Scroll up here and let's create a new constant, which uh, show delete button. I'm going to say which is going to be a ref and by default is going to be false. Then Let's scroll down and I'm going to use that here in this li. We have flex and we have this link. I'm going to add another, with add a div here. And this div is going to be shown only the if the message dot id is triple equal with chat ID okay okay now here I'm going to add a button and when we click to this button I want uh, the show delete button to be equal to the opposite of show delete button is and inside this button now I'm going to and I'm going to pass an SVG. So let's go to the hero icons and search for trash. Let's copy this SVG and paste it here. And if I save and let's see now. Yeah, here is the trash can. And I will also I'm going to change the width to B5 and H to B5. And also let's say text to be red uh, 300. Save. And yeah, I think we are okay. Or let's change back to six. Okay, so when we click here, now I want to show the another SVG. And when we click there, the delete or the cancel two SVGs. So for that, let's after this button, let's close this button and here I'm going to add a span. And in this span, let's pass two SVGs. So the first one is going to be the X mark. Here, let's copy this and paste. Also, let's search for the check. And you so this one and this is going to be I think first in span here. Then it's going to be at the last. So let's see now what we have. Yeah, we have something like this. But this show is going to be only shown if that uh, show only if the show delete button is true. So. For that, let's see on the span, I'm going to add V if the show delete button is true. And also I'm going to add the class here to see to say flex and justify between. And let's save, come here and refresh. Now, when we click, yeah, we have the shoe, but I want to hide now this one. And to do that, we can say to this button, this is going to be show. So we, if only if the show delete button is false. So let's save and let's come here. Let's refresh. Now, if I click delete, we show only this shoe. When we click to this X now, I want to cancel the delete. So when scroll down and this is the first one, then we have this one here. When we click to this SVG, 
So when we click the dust, this SVG, I want to say, so on click, and maybe let's make this a button. I'm going to cut and add the button here. And when we click to this button, I want to say, show delete button to be false. And now paste that in. If I save and come here and refresh, click. Now if I click here, we go back and so. Okay, now when we click here, I want to delete this chat. So let's work with that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this and let's say add a link. With, uh, we need to bind the shrap and the shrap is going to be, let's use route. And the route is going to be chat dot destroy and here we need to add the id we can add message or chat because only this chat we can delete so let's say pass in here the chat dot id and now this is going to be a method delete and as a button like this and now inside, let's pass that uh, SVG and let's close the link. And why we don't have that? Let's close the link. Okay, now we need to create the chat destroy. But before that, let's open the terminal and let's say artisan make controller. Hit enter, let's give it a name and I'm going to say chat GPT destroy controller and let's select two invocable and let's open the web routes and create the destroy route here with that controller we created. So let's say route and the route method is going to be this delete pass in here slash chat slash and I'm going to use the rat model binding here let's say chat and here use that chat GPT destroy controller we created right now say class here and give it the name not chat but give it the name chat dot destroy now if I save and let's open this chat destroy we don't need the request what we need here is to bind the chat and dollar sign chat here the return type is going to be redirect response and we need to delete the chat so let's say just chat delete and then i want to return so when we delete i want to return not back, but I want to return to the route. Chat show without parameters because we delete that and we navigated a new chat. So let's save that. Close, close also this one. And let's save this and let's open and refresh. If I click here, now if I click to the X, nothing happened. If I click to this, check mark we need to delete that and uh, also let's change and hover of this uh, SVG so let's add the class to be text red 300 and on hover I'm going to change that to say text red 500 save come here and the refresh now as you can see on hover we change that color and also let's change that color on hover to this one so we have this button and let's add the class to this button so let's say class text to be uh, slate t 
300 and on hover I'm going to say text slate 500 okay save come here and refresh for last time if I hover it yeah we cancel if I hover to this one and if I click we delete that and we navigate to the new chat we have only this one now and we can delete also this okay friends that's it about this video and about this tutorial i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best and thank you very much for following me